Chapter 582 The Great Disaster Father A child screamed as he woke up and shockingly found himself being sucked up into the sky. The child quickly grabbed onto his father, a pale man who instinctively grabbed onto his child. Mom, Grandpa. In just a moment, many children were screaming in horror. The adults and old men were frightened out of their minds as well. Quick, grab onto the pillar. An old man shouted. His heart was stricken with fear and was aghast. There was also a muscular man who grabbed on tightly to his bed stands, but it was all useless, he was still sucked up into the sky. In an instant, more than 300,000 mortals were sucked up as treasure pouches came down to trap all of them. What is going on? The weakest of cultivators were also sucked up from the ground and were deathly pale from fear, just like the mortals. The ghost race. They screamed while their souls were escaping from their bodies after seeing the big shots from the ghost race standing in the air. These big shots all had divine rings around their bodies and great blood energy. They hovered in the air as if they were deities while using treasure pouches to suck in all the mortals and cultivators. Greenvin Ghost Tribe, Sacred Earth Sect, what feud does my Blackstone City have with you? A loud cry appeared. The Blackstone Monarch and several hundred of the strongest disciples of the city flew into the sky with rising furry. This was met by a thunderous roar from above. We have no feud, but we can't disobey the order of the Heavenly God. All of you stand aside or you will be sucked in as well. The Blackstone Monarch looked at the victims then angrily cried out, Sacred Earth Sect, you are pushing us too far. If you want to take away my citizens, then ask the spear in my hand first. Very well, as you wish. The thunderous voice replied. A palm descended with the intention to smash apart the entire Blackstone City. Act of 8. The Blackstone Monarch cried out. His spear aimed for the sky in a very tyrannical manner. Bluff. The palm only slightly trembled against this fierce spear then counter-attacked from an unbelievable angle. Boom. The Blackstone Monarch couldn't dodge the palm. With broken bones, he was blown away while spurting out blood. The Blackstone experts quickly came to protect their wounded monarch and propped him up. Master. Protect Blackstone City. The monarch commanded while disregarding his wounds. It's no use. The expert in the sky said with a snort. With a deafening explosion, an invincible lance came down, piercing through all obstacles. The Blackstone monarch and his disciples heaved a battle cry to meet this divine lance, but they couldn't stop it. Miserable screams emanated and, in just a moment, many Blackstone experts died beneath this lance. The Blackstone monarch glared furiously and screamed, Die! The heavily wounded monarch wanted to use his strongest attack to slay the existence in the sky. Ding! In the end, the monarch was just not a match. After three exchanges, he was nailed to the street by the divine lance. Although the lance pierced his body, the monarch still stood straight and didn't falter even in the face of death. You don't know your own limits. The powerful existence in the sky stared at the pinned monarch emotionlessly and shouted, Take away all the mortals. The divine guard is waiting for a new batch to perform the blood ceremony. The rest of the ghost experts were spirited from the victory and took out more pouches to collect the remaining mortals and cultivators. Continuous wails could be heard from within the city. Countless mortals didn't know why a calamity descended upon them. They tried to grab onto whatever was close, such as pillars or trees. However, it was all useless, how could mortals oppose powerful cultivators? A few cultivators inside the city quickly fled after seeing the unfavorable situation, but they didn't make it far before being stopped. The attackers consisted of two great ghost powers with many disciples, quite a considerable force. Another heroic group let out a loud cry, wanting to unleash all of their skills to save their people, but it was meaningless. A powerful existence stepped in, blowing away this entire group with a swing of his hand. Southern Tang City was another large city in the nether border, one that had been standing for millions of years. There were more than 500,000 inhabitants that mainly consisted of humans. The humans worked together to make Southern Tang a prosperous city. There were more than 40,000 cultivators at this city that did not lack heavenly sovereigns and heavenly kings. Boom. Before many citizens could leave their beds this morning, it was as if the sky collapsed. While being completely lost, countless mortals in the city were sucked up into the sky. A few people were still snoozing only to find themselves being sucked into the sky. They exclaimed in horror, What the hell? Oh mother. They all lost their minds from the current situation. A treasure bow created a terrifying black hole above the city's sky and it sucked up the hundreds of thousands of citizens, father, mother. Within a short amount of time, children cried helplessly for their parents. Cure. A father cried out and tried to grab onto his son, but he couldn't resist the force from above. The parents screamed out in despair. Although they were inches from each other, they still failed to protect their son. A group of cultivators rushed out and furiously shouted, Who dares to do this? They soared up into the sky and took out their treasures to destroy the gigantic treasure bowl in the sky. H.M.P.H. However, a snort appeared, coming from a person that was standing behind the bowl. He had a pulsing boil on his forehead, and a ferocious bug flew out from within. Ah! Screams resounded as this bug pierced these cultivators' bodies, killing them instantly. When the corpses fell to the ground, they immediately decayed into pus, horrifying spectators. Seeing the bug killing so many cultivators left the rest with chills running down their spines. They cried out, aghast, after seeing the ghost race in the sky. The Insect King lineage, Insect King lineage, don't think you can do as you please here. The strongest heavenly king at this location cried out while looking at the bowl that was sucking away countless mortals. He wanted to put a stop to the unstoppable engulfment. At the same time, a bloody light descended from the sky, accompanied by an unstoppable imperial aura. Bluff. It pierced right through the heavenly king's head, causing blood to erupt as he immediately breathed his last, immortal emperor life treasure. The cultivators in the city gasped after seeing their most famous heavenly king die to the light. It is not too late to surrender. 
A big shot from the lineage that was standing above them spoke gravely. Otherwise, we shall grant you a fate worse than death. The boil on this big shot's head was moving as if a nether insect king could fly out at any moment. The spectators felt the creeps and quivered after thinking about the terrifying nether insect king. Another heavenly king from the previous generation solemnly asked, Southern Tang has done nothing to your sect, so why must you do this to us? We, the insect king lineage, have no grievances with your Southern Tang city. The big shot from the lineage revealed a sinister smile and answered, But His Excellency, the Heavenly God, had given his order and we cannot disobey. Moreover, all humans deserve to die. He spoke with a sharp glare that radiated anger and a terrifying, murderous aura. There were reasons for this big shot from the insect king lineage to hate humans so much. First, not long ago, Li Kai killed the ghost insect evil child, their descendant. Second, Li Kai cracked the evil bell, their emperor's weapon. Eventually, the lineage expended numerous amounts of effort to restore the evil bell, but it was still extremely damaged and had reduced power. Their hatred for Li Kai ran deep, so it was a shame to them that he had died in the path of death. Now, the heavenly god wanted mortals from the other races for the blood ceremony, so the insect king lineage was the first to heed their call. They personally came to the southern Tang city in order to capture all the humans for revenge. The divine guard captain wants your fresh blood for a sacrifice. If you all surrender, then I'll spare you from pain. This big shot gazed at the cultivators in the city and let out a dark smile. The southern Tang cultivators furiously shouted after hearing this. We'll die either way. Don't waste words with these bastards. One heavenly king personally led a group of experts to rush into the sky once more. Kill. They wanted to fight against the big shot from the imperial lineage and risk their lives on a chance of victory. Ignorant fools. The big shot replied with a disgusting smile as his insect left his forehead. At the same time, other great characters from the lineage appeared. All of them were elders. There were even some high elders as well as an ancestor. They all took action with their insects. These bugs immediately left their flesh pouches, creating an extremely horrifying scene. Ah! Suddenly, screams echoed out continuously as one cultivator fell after another. The lucky ones died on the spot, but the unfortunate few quivered uncontrollably after being bitten by the insects. It was a terrible and agonizing fate as they watched their bodies rot inch by inch before dying. Some experts couldn't handle this kind of pain and committed suicide. 